The other tree we'll look at today is a sugar maple. Uh, this tree, uh, again, uh, found in an understory situation. It's a smaller tree, so it's going to be under a dominant tree uh, and in a shadier space. Uh, this tree has a um, identifiable uh, leaves, as most maples do. Uh, it has uh, an opposite leaf arrangement, so you can see the petioles are opposite of each other. It's got a simple leaf and it's got sinuses and it's got a it's got a leaf a maple shaped leaf that's that's signatory right it's something you wouldn't mistake the sugar maple is different from another maple we'll look at uh, called a red maple in that the sugar maple has this green petiole it doesn't turn too many colors this one looks a little bit uh, brownish red towards the end but it'll stay pretty much green all year long versus the red maple its cousin will have red petioles. The leaves will look almost the same, uh, but it will be a little bit more uh, a reddish, more pronounced reddish on the petioles than, than the sugar maple will. Just like all other maples, you've heard of maple syrup before. Uh, this guy is, is the plant that we would use to collect maple syrup in Louisiana, not really conditioned for that. So they get small, unlike they do in other parts of the country. So we don't get maple syrup, syrup here in the south because the trees are too small. But up north, you know, in, in Connecticut, Vermont, Ohio, Indiana, the trees will get bigger. They like colder climates. Uh, they'll have uh, bigger uh, trunks and you can get uh, maple syrup from them. So sugar maple, uh, that's, that's it.